Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you a couple of different ways where you can work with subdivision mesh, in particular to keeping some corners tight or loose. So we're going to go through some of the built-in options that make these kinds of behaviors easier and then we'll look at a few different strategies of how we can make tight corners or loose and smooth corners with subdivision mesh. First, start, let's start with a flat plane, the, what we have here, which is essentially a very basic mesh subdivided by two and then I've put a couple of corners here. With the regular subdiff modifier, this is the kind of result that we get, which is smooth all over the place. If we want to keep the corners sharp, there's actually a really nice option in the modifier settings. So if you click on the modifier properties of the subdivision modifier once we apply this, and then you click on advanced, there's an option called boundary smoothness. By default, it's on all. And as you can see, this one looks exactly the same as this mesh. But then we can click on keep corners and that makes the corners remain sharp. So it's a really nice option. However, it does have its limitations. So let's look at another example. So this mesh here is the exact same one that we have here with the only difference being that it is extruded. Now without any creases, this is what the mesh looks like when it is subdivided. And with the keep corner option on, you see that it makes no difference at all. So keep corners option works only when we have a flat mesh, a surface mesh, not a volumetric mesh. So then how can we make this kind of mesh sharp? If we go to this mesh over here, what I have done is select all these edge loops over here and we've added edge creases to them, which you can do here in the sidebar. So if I reduce this to zero, you see we have the same result that we have in the previous iteration. And if we increase this to one, then we get a really nice sharp edge. So what if we have a volumetric mesh and we want to keep some of these corners sharp? You might have guessed it, we can also use creases for these vertical edges that we have over here, which is exactly what I've done in this mesh. Now this works in situations like this, where we have a mesh that we know a specific corner is completely flat or a specific face. However, having creases in the two perpendicular directions gets a little bit trickier when we want to do a little bit more with edge loops between those. So here I've introduced an extra edge loop where we had a completely vertical surface in the previous iteration. And now you see if we scale that edge loop out a little bit so we have a very nice smooth element, that smoothness is completely disturbed by these edge creases that were introduced in the previous iteration. So if we want to create that kind of tighter condition, the only way to do it is to add extra loop cuts. We have to remove those vertical creases basically. And in this example, we don't have any vertical creases. And then going forward, if we want to have a really tight corner, what we can do is introduce some edge loops to support that. So let's try this out with this mesh over here. I'm going to duplicate it really quickly and control R to insert a loop cut, control R to insert a loop cut, control R to insert a loop cut, and then the last one, which is over on this side. And now if we compare these two, you see that we have much tighter corners, but they're still following some level of curvature and they're not completely flat like what we had in this previous example over here. What do you think about this process? What do you guys do with your subdivision meshes to keep them both sharp and smooth in different corners? Let me know down in the comments. And the file as always is available on Patreon. Thank you and see you next time.